Hey guys, it's me, Victrix. This video, unfortunately, is going to be a little uh, shaky because I had just done, done a video, but I hadn't paid 100% attention to the time, and so it ran to like 21 minutes. And since I can only do 15 minute videos, yeah. Okay, so welcome to uh, returning video subscribers. Uh, sorry I haven't done a video. I haven't been uh, able to really do a video or go out and do stuff due to uh, the lockdown and I just moved back. Uh, to you n new subscribers, thank you for uh, joining me. And if you came from Twitter or Discord or one of the other social media platforms or even one of the other YouTubers, thank you. I wanted to give a shout out to a couple of people that um, I met recently of uh, What the Paranormal, Southern Afterlife, Beyond the Veil Investigation, Mitchie Ganderman, and Past Life Explorer, and all the other people um, who supported and welcomed me at the uh, virtual YouTube reunion a few days ago. Um, also, I wanted to do a shout out to Frugal Farmer because I just saw his video from today. Them cute bunnies. Happy Memorial Day to you all, and uh, I had unfortunately done a lot of the other stuff, but I'll just have to explain how I did this. Um, well, first, uh, I made a, a present for my fiancé for a travel present that is, I guess, really good, and it is called a travel phone charger and it'll hold your phone up so you're not tripping over your cord while it's being charged and it just hangs right up on the on the uh, block so what I did is you can't really see the length anymore because I sewn part of it but I had this inside out and I sewed it and I don't remember what kind of sewing it was and so this is a very thick material. I'd advise you to use thick material or else it will probably fray or get damaged in some sort of way in your travels or whenever you're doing laundry. And so with every phone, I, some people have really huge phones, but for most medium sized phones, I guess, this one should do. I had I did a bunch of research and I did this 19 inches long and then 5 inches wide. Make sure it's 5 inches or if you want to measure your phone, measure it and add 2 inches on the sides so your cord fits comfortably. And I'd advise if you're going to do it like this, if you're just going to have uh, the same piece of cloth but fold it over on itself, I'd advise you do take it inside out, sew it, and then put it right side out the way you want it to be so that the threading doesn't come out as easily. And what I did with here, because since my fiance has this um, uh, large uh, phone, he has a iPhone 11, I couldn't remember exactly how big it was, and I so I had to make a correction, and I did this by three inches so that it did because it looked kind of big and so whenever I'm done with it I will fold it over like this and so these two parts shut only these two parts keep this un, un uh, sewn because this is where the foam goes and since this is tablecloth material and I I mean it's more of just an optional thing but if you want so your thing comes out uh, easier I won't show it in this video because that'll take too long um, you can take this really easily sew it, sew it down so that whenever your phone comes out it doesn't like catch on anything and then sew these two parts together and voila it should make it so that it's not too hard to get out and so what I already did here was I already cut the hole and so later I'm going to sew these parts together and you have to make sure that 
you make it so that it's n here. I'll do it like this so you guys understand. You have to make sure it's not too close to the flap, but it's not too close to the edge. What I did was um you trace it, you trace your block that goes into the phone onto a piece of cardboard and then you put it on here and you cut it out so that there's enough room around it that it does not affect the the block. And then you need since we put this inside out or right side out, then you sew these shut and it should be all good. What I also had um done was put this here and I'm going to sew this here I think for an SD card not sure yet I might just put it on there because he loves cats and um yes unfortunately I have to do this because um my scissors suck and that's what I had to use to cut this because this is coarse fabric and so if I tried to use my scissors this would not would take forever to cut and you got to remember with this type of of material is you have to have a good sturdy needle preferably something like this this is my largest needle it's an embroidery needle but I do not know at the top of my head what kind it is like uh, the size exactly because I know they're all categorized in different sizes and it my smallest ones are like an inch an inch and a half and those are used to make like lace like that kind of lace they're smaller and so um yeah I would have done this video earlier but I went to lay on my bed but I guess you gotta be careful opening your windows cause now me, my bed, and my stuffed pillow smell like stink bugs and that that sucker did not want to get out cause I was trying to get him and he just kept trying to fly and I couldn't get him to the window but I finally did now I'm trying to do a couple couple of videos that I can do um, for you guys before I before June 7th not June 7th, June 5th, because that's when I'm going to move, move down to Virginia, uh, to Richmond, Virginia, and I don't know when I'll be able to get much internet because uh, it's in the country, and the only internet for some reason they have down there is um, if you have it on your phone, if you turn on your hotspot. Um, so if you want different ideas, because I really was thinking about it today, that I wanted to take my channel back to what I originally had wanted it like challenges and like 3 a.m. games but I couldn't do a lot of them since I don't have anyone to do them with at the, at the current moment so please put please like and subscribe and if you have any video ideas put them down in the comments below I was thinking about doing a 10 toes down challenge um, if you guys like to see that, um, I might do that if I get, um, at least 10 views. I know that sounds really small compared to what a lot of YouTubers, when they say like, a thousand views, 10,000 views. At least it's a view. Um, again, thanks to all you guys, um, at, um, my new YouTube family. Uh, actually talking with you guys on a live stream, being recognized, that's actually kind of cool and makes my day. And whenever somebody responds to me, um, sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear the notifications sometimes, the videos can, sometimes they can't. Um, that was my fiance, he's getting a little worried because I didn't respond to him yet. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I'm also going to be doing some audio uh, books, um, not books, but like readings from this book. It was a book 
if you guys have probably seen them, whenever you see random boxes of books that are just standing outside libraries or something, and they're free for the public to just have one, I'm going to be doing it out of that one because that is something that all women need to read because that actually understands them, I guess. Um, also, I wanted to make a statement that this is the thread that I used. You can really use any thread, I guess. It doesn't really matter. If you want to match it, you can. But I used this for a couple of reasons. One, this was the same thread that I used to make a quilt for my fiancé for his uh, birthday. A, a patched quilt. And it was the same thread used um used for uh from his grand grandma and there's another reason why and I can't remember what it was. Hmm. And hopefully it for those of you that have seen my other videos, I hope to be going back to Belt Isle and do, going at night and maybe uh bringing a flashlight so you guys can see what it looks like at night in those abandoned buildings. Which, funny thing is, at the end of, um, I think it was, yeah, it was the end of our graffiti video, there, there was a building that we had seen, and so, well, we had already gotten, after we would finished that video, we had gone inside it, and we had to climb inside of it, and it was actually really cool in there. We'll have to shoot a video while we're in there, because we can't shoot a video while we're going into there, because it would be too dangerous. We'd either drop the phone, or drop ourselves and hurt ourselves because you have to climb 15 feet up and so um I had seen this guy and I do not know how he did it but somehow he ended up getting his bike and himself into there when it would be really hard to climb and grab your bike and haul it up there um a few other little tidbits I want to show this was some old rail spike. I think we got it from Belt Isle. Not 100% sure. All I know is that I got it down there. And it was like super old. We had also done a short video. Unfortunately, my we don't have it anymore. So I can't put it up. But it was on. If any of you guys down in that region know what the Churchill Tunnel is. But I plan to do another video of going down there and maybe having something to swim on there because we found two inner tubes in there and we thought it was really cool. One of the last things that I'm going to show you though is, um, I don't know if I just said that, but this is a sewing basket that I got in from church. It's kind of cool looking. Um. So yeah, that, that is my video of partially how to make a traveling uh, phone charger. So now you just put it up there and that's it. I hope you guys at least give it a try. Um, it may take a little work. Make sure that your fabric is thick, not thin because it'll get messed up traveling. And yeah, that's it. I hope to see you guys in the next video where I'm probably the next video is going to be an audio video. So yeah, big tricks out.